Today we're testing out viral five minute recipes. Are they any good and do they actually only take five minutes to make? It's gonna bounce, bounce off. off. <laughs> it's so burnt. Mm. You like it? Yeah. <gasps> what? Don't forget to thumb this video. I love pizza, so I have to try this recipe out. Welcome back to our kitchen. Another day, another recipe, but this one should not take us very long. Five minutes. Let's make our pizza dough. I feel like this part's already gonna take me more than five minutes, not gonna lie. I think it's fine. We're not an actual food production company. If this was a cooking show, you would definitely not see the cameraman in the back. <laughs> the cameraman would also not be the sous chef. 250 grams of flour. Ooh, 249, let's just keep it at that. Three grams of instant yeast. Some salt. Ta -da. Ta -da. This is the head chef. Can you help me, mommy, pour the water in? Thank you. Now we need some oil. 10 mils of olive oil. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Oh, okay, Lila do, Lila do. Now, if you don't have a toddler helping you, this part shouldn't take you too long, but we might have to... Okay, she already quit, so maybe... <laughs> You're done? Yeah. Okay, I guess it will take me a little bit quicker than expected now. She went... And it just turned into a nice kneaded ball, so... Oh yeah. It's not looking so smooth yet. Biscuit, please! We're trying to film a professional cooking video here. I think that's looking okay. Her dough looks quite smooth though. Yeah, ours is lumpy. 10 minutes later, this is what our dough is looking like. Let's roll it out. Pretty sure normally you're supposed to just let the dough, what do you call it? Like rise. Rise, yeah. Aren't you supposed to wait for the yeast to do its thing? But I'm not a professional. I don't really know. Smooth. I feel like I'm doing the ab roller. Wow. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. I need to open this jar. Put some marinara sauce. How saucy do we want this? I like a lot of sauce. Yeah, let's just go saucy. If not, it's too doughy. Right? Yeah, right? I feel like dough to sauce ratio should match. A piece of sliced cheese and some shredded cheese on top. Cheese bay. It's gonna like hit your forearm. It's gonna bounce, bounce off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just made a mess. Is that enough? Nah. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go. I just know that we're gonna want extra garlic. <gasps> Should we do extra garlic? Hit it with some garlic powder. Say no more. Yes. As usual, we're just gonna add a little bit of our touch to it. Italian seasoning, guys. <gasps> it's stuck to the bottom. Oh no, what do I do? I rolled it out so well. I put extra flour, but I think... Oh my gosh. Oh. We have a problem, guys. We have a problem. If I use this, I might be able to scrape it off. Oh, wait, I think it's working. Fold it in. Oh, that's so ugly. Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, like a little star. Oh, she's thick still. She's thick. <laughs> what is this shape? No, it's just, it is what it is now. I can see our camera's been rolling for 25 minutes. It's definitely not a five minute <laughs> recipe. Let's put this pizza in. Oh. Now, according to this recipe, it should only take us five minutes to cook, right? Oh, there's color. The Dude, back. it's okay. like burning. Uh. Ah, it's burning. Oh. I did it. It's like smoking up. Oh my god. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's so burnt. <laughs> what about the sides? The sides aren't cooked. How do I cook the sides? Hold it sideways. If I can hold it sideways, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. it can cook. I bet you guys have never seen anyone cook pizza like this. It's just a little bit toasty. <laughs> Time for the moment of truth. Let's cut this pizza and try it. There was no cheese pull. Oh man. Oh man. All right, taste test. That just tastes ash. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. I just got all dough. Wait, let me try this part. It looks like it's got more sauce. No. Oh, it's raw. I need a raw piece of dough. Mine's good. Is that? Must be inconsistent. 
Yeah. It tastes like a pizza pocket. It does taste like a pizza pocket, just with like very little filling. So if you do try to make this, roll it out as thin as you can, but also add as much as you can inside. She is skinny legend. She's skinny and she is not a legend. I actually had no cheese. I think it was like inconsistent. Maybe this part will redeem itself. Mm, better. Mm, I think it's better. This is raw. I want a good piece, Too doughy. Man. I had a good one. Oh, that. Maybe the corner. Oh, oh. okay. Oh, oh, some cheese. Now that looks like a good piece. That one's good. That was raw. So as you can see, the outcome is a little bit inconsistent and the fact that it took us more like 30 minutes to do instead of five minutes. Hmm. I think this deserves a side thumb for me. <gasps> Same, I'm doing side thumb. Okay, give me a thumbs up. If you're lucky, you'll get a good piece. If you're unlucky, you'll eat some raw dough. If you're looking for a quick yet delicious breakfast, this recipe could be for you. I'm gonna show you how I make my breakfast egg skillet in less than five minutes. So I start off with a little marinara sauce. I didn't have any, so I used some pizza sauce and just added a little water and seasonings. And then of course the chili flakes for that spicy life. I added my eggs, jalapenos, covered it until the eggs were cooked to my liking, topped it off with a little cheese, covered it again until it was nice and cheesy. Okay, let's attempt to make this egg recipe. It looks pretty simple and I feel like this one would actually only take five minutes. In goes some marinara sauce. Can't waste it. My mum would be so proud of me right now. Add in your seasoning. I'm gonna add in some extra basil and <laughs> do I even have to mention what this is? It's garlic powder. You have to crack it in the thing, yeah? Huh? No pressure. I mean, I'm fine with cracking eggs, but for some reason doing it on camera just adds this level of like pressure. <sighs> One success. Wow, the egg yolk is huge. Why is it so big? Oh, that's a regular size one. Pop in some chilies. Oh, it's bubbling. And then you just cover it until it cooks. Let's aim to have our yolk just slightly cooked. We want it a little bit runny. We want that egg ooze. Is that what it's called? Egg ooze? Whatever. We coined it. We coined it egg ooze. Should I look at it? I'm so impatient. Let's just look at it. Like, there's no, no harm in looking. Oh, I feel like that one's kind of getting there. That one's not really. Do the egg dance. Ta-da! Oh. I feel like it needs a little bit of greens. Hit it with some spring onions. Oh my gosh. What are we? Are we professional chefs? Yep, we graduated. Culinary TikTok school. Wow! I'm so ready to dig. In. Okay, do not burn your oh, mouth. All that cheese ball. Heads together. Mmm, delicious. Very nice. This is perfect for breakfast. It's full of flavor. It's easy to make. Maybe not five minutes exactly, but you know, maybe like not five to seven minutes. Yeah, very quick. It needs bread. Here, let's just use some of that pizza. <clears throat> oh, oh yes, yes. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Wow. I would love this for breakfast. I think we are proudly going to rate this a uh, double thumbs up. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I think this is perfect for all day. Seriously, it's so easy to make. Skill level required is Alfred level, basically. What does that mean? That means like you don't need any skill required. You're not gonna mess this up. Actually, Alfred could mess You could up. overcook the eggs. The worst thing you can do is overcook the eggs. Yeah. But that's it. Easy peasy. Nom, 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 nom. I would lick the pan, but I'd probably burn my mouth. <laughs> now, did you know that you can make brownies in a microwave? These brownies are so fudgy and chocolatey and they're made in the microwave. Microwave dark chocolate and butter until melted, then add caster sugar and milk and mix until combined. Add your flour and fold until smooth, then add some chocolate chips if you wish. Spoon it into a microwave safe dish and top with more chocolate chips if you wish. Bake until it's no longer wet on top, then let it cool and slice it up into eight pieces. Enjoy. First time making brownies in a microwave, you need dark chocolate, butter, and then we're going to melt this in the microwave. I mean, it's getting there. Okay, I'm just gonna stir that and it is melting. In goes 30 mils of warm milk and then sugar. The recipe calls for plain flour heat treated. I've never heard of this term, but we just Googled it. It's just basically using heat on your flour to kill off bacteria. So I'm just gonna microwave it. In goes my heat treated flour. Does hers look lumpy? That's right, trust the process. Is this gonna affect the texture of our brownie? 
lumpy dough. Help, bakers out there. I think we were just meant to sift the flour. Or maybe it's our sugar. We didn't have caster sugar, so we just had to use our normal sugar. It looks good though. Okay, I, you know what, it should be fine. I'm gonna add in a handful of chuck chips. Now I'm gonna pour it into my dish. I'm just gonna spread that out. Yeah, now we're gonna cook this in the microwave. So now we're gonna let that cook for about a minute 30 or until the mixture on top is no longer wet. For my microwave, it took three minutes and this is what it's looking like. I'm just gonna let that cool before I attempt to cut it. It's cooled down, let's cut it up. Oh, I hope it's cool. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Okay, Lana. Lana, you come try it. I'm so surprised that this is actually cooked to perfection. It's not gooey, too gooey, and it's not overly dry or anything. It's just perfect. It's actually really good. It's actually very chocolatey. You would never know that this was cooked in a microwave. It took us a little bit longer than five minutes because microwaving this was already three minutes and putting all the ingredients and mixing it together took a little bit longer. So it wasn't as true to the recipe time as I would have liked, but hey, it turned out amazing. You like it? You like the chocolate chips? Yeah. But I think we all agree that it's a... Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh. I need to do a thumbs up. Can you do a thumbs up? Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's pointer, but... Okay, okay that's thumbs double up. thumbs up. <laughs> Mark. So this one is for all my lazy peeps. This recipe doesn't even require any cooking. I'm a dietitian and this is my five minute lazy dinner when I don't want to cook, which is pretty often. I love this meal because after you mix together the sauce, which only takes a minute, you're practically done. Because all you have to do is add some veggies like cucumbers to your raw tofu. Yes, you can eat tofu raw out of the package and if you're not, you're totally missing out. Drizzle your sauce over everything and enjoy with a bowl of rice. It's flavorful and so easy. This recipe doesn't require any cooking, but we do need to make our sauce. In goes soy sauce. Didn't find measurements. It looked like she just used her, her heart to just feel it. Just feel it. Sesame oil. <laughs> okay, now then you gotta go. Rice vinegar. I don't have chili garlic, but I'm just gonna add chili sauce first. And then we'll do like actual garlic. Wow. So fancy. I know, right? Next, I'll add honey and then some sesame seeds. Some more sesame seeds. Give that a little mix. I need to taste it. All I tasted was oil. I need more soy sauce. Maybe a little bit more of everything. It's tasting pretty good so far, but I feel like it needs a little bit more of a kick and I'm gonna put in a little bit of chili crisps. I know I am diverting from the recipe, but I'm just making it a little bit better, I hope. Let's just put it on our tofu. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, ah! it's dripping. Oh, it just flicked into my eyeball. <laughs> I'm back and I've opened it. Why is it <laughs> coming out? Ta da! Nothing comes out. Why? What? Come on, just a little bit of. <gasps> on top, we just add in some sliced cucumbers and then just pour the sauce on top. Is that a lot of sauce? I must admit, it does look pretty appetizing, right? Oh, but it reluctantly <laughs> nod his head. It's a no-cook recipe, it's tofu. It's fresh, cold, raw. Yeah, it looks very raw. It actually did only take like five minutes, okay? So I feel like the timing is quite true. Get enough sauce, because we know tofu doesn't really taste like anything. Cheers. Cheers. I like it. I like it. I like it. What? Mmm, this is like one of those entree dishes that you'd get at a Chinese, a Chinese restaurant. restaurant. Yes! You know what, it's because we made a good sauce. Okay guys, you know how I diverted? Do what I did and I promise it will taste really good. Yes! Yum! It's moments like this that I'm like, oh my god, I'm actually a chef. Mmm, 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 mmm. Is it lava? Anything will lava than ma. This dish deserves a Double thumbs up.
good choreography. Yeah, look, look at me. I'm, I'm coming up with all of these ideas. Like, you know, I'm a chef with ideas. You need to try this recipe out because this one is the best one out of all the recipes we tried for this video. Now, if you guys want to check out more of our crazy TikTok cooking videos, click on the playlist on screen. Don't forget to subscribe and we shall speak to you guys next time. Bye! Bye bye! Our garlic breath. Don't forget to thumb this video. Don't forget to thumb this video. Please, thumb this video. Thumb this video. Yes. <laughs> I need some more thumbs.